their permission to uh, read the motion on stabilizing and sustaining post position growth of the economy. Uh, the Senate recalls that about this time last year, we loomed from summer recess with a rude shock of official declaration of the nation's economy having fallen into recession as a result of successive two quarters of negative GDP growth. The Senate knows that this event forced members into a two-day session during which a wide range debate on the economy was undertaken that culminated in the National Assembly's recommendation of a copious array of economic policy measures that were recommended to the executive arm of government for implementation. Senate knows that exactly one year later, it has now been officially confirmed that the economy has come out of recession following two quarters of positive growth, the last being a growth of 0.55% attained in June 2017. Senate seized this opportunity to congratulate the national economy policy makers and managers for this great achievement, but with a caveat that we should not rest on our own. Senate further know that the economy's exit out of recession was largely made possible by a very favorable combination of improved national and international economic environment that includes the following. One, relative peace and stability in the Niger Delta region that facilitated increased volume of oil production. Two, favorable international oil prices that rose from a dismal $30 per barrel to about $54 per barrel, and I, today I think it is coming to about $59 dollars per barrel as of today in the morning. Three, relatively stable exchange rate of 360 naira to the dollar in the federal market and 305 naira to the dollar in the official market. That was achieved at a great cost to the nation's project. I bet from the reports that we have received about nine billion dollars was spent to support the currency in order to achieve this particular thing. Four, Rise of our foreign exchange reserve from about 25 billion in 2015 to about 34 billion today. Five, regular and sustained releasing releases of the capital budget of 2016, not 20, 2016. Six, favorable weather conditions in the last two years and the economic conditions that drove most people back to the farm, which resulted in good harvest and positive growth in our agricultural sector by about 5.0%. Seven, maintenance of tariff policy regime that excluded over 40 exported items from access to official foreign exchange. Eight, some measure of stability and growth in our capital market that was revitalized with CBN intervention in the investors and exporters foreign exchange window. Senate is cautious, however, that this positive atmosphere is reversible. Therefore, we should not take anything for granted and should do everything possible to avoid relapsing into another recession. Accordingly, Senate resolves to, one, urge the national economy managers to remain focused and ensure that the current weak growth of a mere 0.55% is built upon and increased substantially in the months and years to come. Two, urge the fiscal and monetary authorities to come together and harmonize fiscal and monetary policies with a view to drastically reducing the high interest rate that has adversely affected borrowing for investment by the real sector of the economy. Three, add fiscal authorities to drastically reduce the accumulation of domestic debt in order to prove the debt market, to free the debt market from, uh, for better access by the private sector. Four, add the Central Bank of Nigeria to revert to its traditional core mandate and responsibility as banker of the federal government, supervisor of the banking industry, stabilizer of the national currency, and as the institution in charge of our monetary policy and institutions, and curb its forays into direct development funding. Five, urge the Central Bank of Nigeria to transfer its operation surpluses to the government instead of operating as another fiscal institution in order to avoid the incidence of the federal government going into debt 
to finance the capital budget. I so move, Mr. President.